Well, 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 if it isn't another episode of Weech's World, still need to make a decision? Well, let me help y'all real quick with the DC Multiverse Joker Sonar Vision. Hey yo, welcome back to the channel. If your UAV is online, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the latest and greatest from your boy Weech. And would you look at what we have here this afternoon that's right, it's the DC Multiverse Joker Sonar Vision. I was really excited for this figure. I'm a big fan of translucent figures. Whenever I see them, I pretty much gotta have them. And this lad was no exception. He did come in a three-pack bundle with a coated Bane as well as a bank robber Joker. Hopefully we'll have the opportunity to take a closer look at those, but you'll just have to stay tuned and find out. But in the meanwhile, for those of y'all who return into the channel, I, you know the drill. Are we gonna go over the box? Are we gonna get into the box? I hope y'all ready. I'm ready. Let's rock, man. Come on. All right, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the box. We've got our front window display. Figure title down low, title on the side, side window display, and title there. You've got a Sonar Vision Joker on the back of the box. I think that that looks sweet. The Dark Knight Trilogy logo down low. Disclosures on the bottom as well as the skew there if you need it. That'll do it for the box. Now let's get it. And bam, we've got our Sonar Vision Joker out of the box. And as y'all can see, the goose has got our boy Transluce int as hell. <laughs> I mean, again, there's nothing new here. If you guys saw my review on the Dark Knight Trilogy Wave Joker, this is the exact same figure, except we've got him in a different colorway. I still think he looks badass, but we'll go ahead and get him off the display and take a closer look at accessories. For accessories, Sonar Joker comes with a collector card and a DC Multiverse base. Here you have it, uh, no accessories with this bad boy. A Little bit of a shame, it would have been nice to see him come with something. Don't necessarily think we need the money stack again, but once again, for a $30 figure, uh, some accessories would be nice. Well, that'll do it for accessories, and I guess we'll move on to the figure. All right, let's go ahead and tap in with the Sonar Vision Joker. Now, we just gonna get straight into it, starting with the head sculpt here. Once again, it is the same exact sculpt that we seen with the Dark Knight Trilogy Wave Joker. I do like how they filled in the expression lines here. Those are very prominent, and I think that that looks really good. It does look like they went with a more of a lighter wash or brush towards more of his face to still highlight the face paint that you know your boy is always rocking. And of course, he still got those crazy scars uh, that we can all appreciate in our Heath Ledger Joker. Moving along, I really like this white paint that they added to his hair here to help give it a little bit more contrast with the rest of the figure. Again, it's, it's giving frosted flakes. He's not good, he's great, so. You heard it first here from your boy Weech. Anyways, we move along out back. I don't know how I feel about this. I didn't see this at first, but again, because of the translucentness of him, uh, you've got these bars here that I guess maybe those are in the actual Joker figure and you wouldn't normally see that because it's an opaque versus this translucent. So if there is any silver lining within this figure so far is with the translucent figure, you get to see all of the mechanics and uh, setup of the figure inside. So anyways, we move on, get down to the back of the cape. As you can see, you can see your fingers right through the bottom, not, not his cape, his jacket, excuse me, I'm all over the place. 
Uh, on the back of his jacket here, you can see through it completely. So I think that that's really cool. You can even see the little CE and some of the uh, trademarks. <laughs> so I think that that's kind of funny. Lifting up the back of his coat here, you can see just how hollow he is inside. This is probably one of the bigger or biggest McFarland diapers I have ever seen. And once again, you are gonna see all of the inner workings of this figure. Come out back to the legs, I think that this looks really cool. Once again, I can really appreciate a translucent figure because when you have your lighting that's going through him, I just think that it just looks so cool. So anyways, we move along back to the front of the figure working our way down his torso. The lapels look really nice on him. He's got this powdery substance all over his shirt, so maybe he was hanging out with our boy Charlie Sheen a little bit more than he should have. <laughs> Duh, winning. Well, that's neither here nor there. Anyways, we move on to the arms. Once again, it's kind of cool to be able to see the ratcheting within the joints of his arms here. I think that looks really cool. Once again, it's nothing new as far as the actual sculpt, but the translucent effect on this guy just looks so cool. In hand, got the good old chain here. The pinstripes still look pretty nice on his pants. They went with a solid chunk for the kneecaps. And we still got that great wrinkling that we saw in the first version of him. So again, it's not gonna be the craziest review and could be an easy pass for a lot of people. I saw a lot of people dunking on this guy saying, ah, oh, geez, we gotta buy Sonar Joker just to get Bank Robber Joker or that Bane with that sexy coat. But hey, put some respect on Sonar Joker's name, all right? And just for the sake of it, I'm gonna show y'all just how translucent our boy is. Take a look. Ooh, look at that. Wow. I really like seeing it on his torso. I didn't realize how translucent the legs were down there too. But I think that that right there is the money shot, or maybe right there. Very cool. Well, anyways, I think we'll go ahead and wrap up sculpts and move on to articulation. And for articulation, Sonar Joker can look up pretty much none at all. He can look down a decent amount. Head will rotate from side to side and he does have a nice tilt. Arms will do the 360. He's got a bicep cut, double jointed elbows. Oops, that second joint. Don't want a joint for me. <laughs> the wrists will do the 360s. They hinge up, they hinge down. As far as his waist articulation is concerned, he can rotate from side to side. He can uh, rock from side to side. He'll crunch forward about this much. He'll crunch backward really far. Legs will do a complete split. He can kick up about that much. He'll kick back about that much. He's got double jointed knees. His feet will kick up about that much. His feet will kick back about this much. Uh, he does have a little bit of an ankle rocker, and he's got toe articulation as well. And that'll do it for articulation. And for some size comparisons, here's how he scales with the DC Multiverse Batman Nightfall, as well as the Marvel Legends Renew Your Vow Spidey. And here's how he scales with the OG DC Multiverse Dark Knight Trilogy Wave Joker. So one thing that I forgot to mention during the sculpt and this was a gripe that I had with the OG Joker as well, is this squishy abdomen. It just, this is so cheap to me. And I was really hoping that they were gonna fill that in with this guy. I mean, I guess if they're just reusing the sculpt then there would be no point in doing that, but it's just a very interesting design idea that they went with to uh, kind of hollow out his torso as opposed to making it of course, uh, full. <laughs> so anyways, uh, that'll do it for size comparisons and we'll get on to the verdict here. And for my verdict, I'm gonna go ahead and give this Sonar Vision Joker a B minus. The pros are that he looks really, really cool with this translucent mold. As I said, I'm a sucker for the translucent figures, so that's what really drew me into this guy. 
The paint is also decent. I like that they added the frosted flake effect to both his hair and a little bit of his chest. I think that that made for a nice added touch here as well as, again, it's just a really good sculpt that we saw on the OG Dark Knight Trilogy Wave Joker, so you could expect no different here. As for the cons, I was really bummed out about the accessories. I mean, I knew what I was getting into before I made this purchase, but it would have been nice for them to have included something else besides a collector card and a DC Multiverse base. The other big con with this guy is the fact that his torso is hollowed out. It just feels so cheap in hand when it's displayed. You're not gonna have any issue, but when you pick him up and once again, you start pressing on that torso a little bit, you're like, mm, he's missing something. And uh, that's very evident. The diaper is also really big too. So I feel like they overcompensated on the diaper and then they undercompensated on the composition of his actual body, at least the torso area that is. But all in all, it's a solid figure. If you're a diehard fan for the Dark Knight Trilogy wave, this is an easy pickup for you. And if not, then you can probably just enjoy uh, the OG Dark Knight Trilogy wave Joker. But that's it for this one. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. We chat.